Good morning. Isn't it a wonderful feeling to wake up with the sun about to rise and slowly spreading its warmth? You gaze outside the window and stand in awe for the beauty that abounds. It is Saturday and I woke up really early to take a scenic route, walk around on one of the oldest estates here in Singapore and that is Tiong Bahru. It rained last night, hence the puddle of water on the pavement. And I don't know, this may look gloomy to you, but it is certainly a respite from the Singapore humid weather. Chong Baru has a lot of quiet alleys and shop houses, which are mostly painted in white. The architecture is exquisite that you will find yourself stopping to appreciate them, just like what I did. You will stumble upon a park and a lot of greenery here, which this country is really proud of because they certainly and intentionally created, to, created this to preserve nature. It's a little bit windy today and I'm really enjoying this walk. Most people nowadays have adapted to green thumb lifestyle and created a mini garden indoors. Chong Baru is known for its cafes and quirky novelty shops like this bookstore. I've been here countless of times and there's always something new to see and discover. I love how everything seems artsy from walls down to pavements and how creative people can get with their posters. Here is a gallery which is about to open and I was drawn to the pink flower on the door, hence this video. It is almost 10 and I'm feeling hungry so I decided to queue up to plain vanilla. They are known for cupcakes and muffins and now they are serving brunch. After 15 minutes of queue and scanning, I'm finally seated facing the window and enjoying the natural light. I recently started writing poetry. I used to write a lot when I was a kid and that kind of got lost in the way but grateful for the time now to rekindle old love and embrace the world of art. I was inspired to create postcards while having brunch. I remember my trip to Verona which sort of started a whole love affair with letters. I think snail mail postcards isn't a lost art and I would love for it to stay so keeping up with the practice sort of helps to stay grounded despite the advancement of technology. So I decided to create patterns. I got my Windsor and Newton palette, but I forgot to bring my Princeton brush. So I just settled for the small brush that came with the travel palette. Here I am dabbing in some color using wet on wet technique. I'm starting with crimson red with a hint of yellow ochre, spreading them lightly. As you can see, it's not perfect nor realistic, but it does resemble the shape of a petal. The intent is not perfection, but to progressively create while enjoying the process. I am adding in some details to create depth so that it will not look flat. Oh, I am left-handed, by the way, and for others, they might find it hard to paint, but trust me, left keys are the creative ones, and if I can do it, you absolutely can too. Oops, I got hungry, so let me just take a bite. This is a roasted cauliflower salad with pomegranate and pine nuts. 
It is really tasty and really good for you. It's quite pricey on the side though. I am just adding in some leaves. I mixed sap green with a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm not really sure what I'm going here for, but I just want to fill in the negative space and break away from the red by adding in green. It's looking a little lonely with just two flowers, so I've decided to add more and then another one. Really loving this pattern. Adding in some fillers to make up for the negative space. I decided to create another postcard, but I forgot to press record, so here is an almost finished piece. A little secret, I struggled with roses for a really long time. I just couldn't get it right, it always looked like cabbage. But what I realized is that with watercolor, it's all about patience and consistency. And yes, these are not perfect, but they are my roses, and it's my art, and I will fully embrace it. And you should too. There is no such thing as bad art. Art is an expression of oneself, and it's always open to interpretation. You just have to look at it with an open mind and an open heart. Here, I'm just adding in some fillers to create depth. And remember that you do not need permission to create because you can. And the world needs your art, especially right now. So celebrate it and be your own cheerleader. I am done with the postcards. And if you're a close friend of mine, you will definitely get one. Forgive me for the messy table, but I had a really great time in this cafe. Spent a good three hours um, just immersing myself in some matcha, muffin, good food, and poetry. Taking you to a shop which really caught my attention, welcome to Cat Socrates Garden. They have the most beautiful ceramics, tons of options to choose from, and a lot of pretty little things. Look at those spots. I think they will really look good on my window and for my plants. Look at those vases. Oh, that dried flowers reminded me of the shop that my friend runs from the Philippines. It's called the Retail Studio. I will link her Instagram on the description box if you're interested. She has the most beautiful pieces for your aesthetics and interiors. Hi there! Practicing social distancing here and keeping my mask on for protection, but I do see you. Love this little corner of the shop with all these bulbs and, fa and fairy lights. It's so cozy and inviting, right? So finally, it's time to head home. I hope you had fun joining me on this Saturday stroll and paint session. If you haven't done so, click the subscribe button and bell so you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. Thank you again for watching. I will see you soon.